Hello, and welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with Linda Minner. What would it be like to be a Christian? If you are, then you probably know the answer to that question. I would think basically the life of a Christian is a follower of Jesus. So on that note, let's think a little bit more about who Jesus was. Jesus was, for one, a healer. He was a provider, he was a teacher, a redeemer, a forgiver. There are a lot of words that we could describe Jesus with. There was a time when Jesus was at a wedding in Cana of Galilee and it was discovered that there was no more wine left for this beautiful wedding celebration. And so Mary, Jesus' mother, asked him to do something that would be miraculous, to provide more wine. And as a provider, Jesus performed a miracle. He turned water into wine. My husband, when he was going to church, uh, Lutheran church in the younger days, had a pastor that simulated that experience to help kids understand how could you turn water into wine? And that helped their young minds to develop and help believe in Jesus. So the wedding at Cana in Galilee was an example of Jesus being a provider. Another example would be where Jesus fed 5,000 men. Now people had followed Jesus and he healed them but there was provision. There were 5,000 men, and of course, there were women and children as well. And Jesus' disciples said, how are we gonna feed these people? They need something to eat. And Jesus said, you feed them. And the disciples said, but we only have five loaves of bread and a couple of fish. How are we gonna feed so many? Jesus had compassion on the crowds, and I suppose on his disciples as well, and he lifted up the fish and the bread to heaven and prayed, and the disciples distributed the food, and there were 12 baskets left over. So all of those men, 5,000 men ate from five loaves and two fish, and this is not even counting the women and children that were there. It was miraculous. Jesus was a provider. Have we stopped to think in our lives where we have made provision for others? Just the opportunity to give of ourselves, whether it be food or a clothing drive, a gift of some sort from our hearts. That's an example of being like Jesus. So if we're Christians, we follow Jesus in his examples. Jesus was a healer. He healed many people. Just a couple examples that I think of. There was a woman in a large crowd of people around Jesus, and she stopped. She had the courage to touch the hem of his garment. She said, if I can just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I will be healed of this issue of blood, this difficult problem that has made me alienated for years. And Jesus felt power go out from him and asked, who touched me? His disciples wondered, his disciples wondered because the crowd was so large. Lots of people had touched Jesus, but he knew that the woman had been healed and talked to her about this. And she was probably embarrassed, but she knew that Jesus had healed her. Another healing was where Jesus uh, came upon a man that was blind from birth. Jesus made some mud and used his spittle and put that on the man's eyes. And the man began to see what a miracle this was, how glorious it must have been for this man who was blind from birth to be able to see. And when non-believers questioned him about it, he wanted to know, why do you ask me? Do you want to be his disciple too? So not only was he physically changed, he was spiritually changed as well. So how have we provided healing to other people? Maybe it's listening to someone's hurting, who's hurting, a story they share, an older person that might need to talk about wars and times of old, just need to be heard. 
Maybe it's a time where we've listened where someone is grieving. Maybe we don't have the words to say. Perhaps it's a quiet prayer or just listening. And when I say just listening, I don't mean to belittle that because listening is so valuable in an age where everything moves so quickly. Taking the time to listen. That's a form of being a follower of Jesus because he was a listener. He was a healer. He was a teacher. He taught in parables and stories that helped us to understand what he was talking about. Sometimes he made the stories very clear. And sometimes people had to really think about the parables that he shared. Jesus was also a leader. When people wanted to know about following him, for example, people that were fishing called Peter, who was a fisherman, and he wanted to make Peter a fisher of people. So when we stop what we're doing so that we can lead others in the way of righteousness and truth and grace, we are followers of Jesus, following after his example to be a leader. I believe also Jesus was a leader when, before his death, a woman named Mary came and put expensive perfume that truly could have been saved and, and money collected from that. But she wanted to give this in preparation for his burial. She put the, the perfume all over his feet. And I believe that she, I can see her drying his feet with her tears, maybe even her long hair. But the point was, Jesus allowed this to be touched by a Jewish woman who in that day was unheard of and to be anointed. So we can be leaders by accepting those who seem unacceptable, by loving those who may seem unlovable, but they were not unlovable to Jesus because Jesus loved and cared for the simple just children or people that came in his way he was a leader because he had followers Jesus was a teacher a leader a healer a helper probably most importantly to me Jesus was sacrificial he was a giver he gave his life as a ransom for all when his hands and feet were nailed to that cross he did that for me and for you because through his death and his resurrection, he became the savior for all. So if you haven't accepted Jesus, maybe these stories will encourage you that Jesus loves you, not just the people of his day, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, he lives with us still in our hearts. So what it means to me to be a Christian is to be a follower of Jesus and his examples. What does it mean to you to be a Christian? Maybe you could subscribe or leave a comment or hit like if you feel that way. But the most important thing to me is that you would know that Jesus invites you to follow him this day and always. God bless you.